Hello everyone, welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Mystery Tackle Box giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, leave this video a like, and drop a comment down in the comment section. And I'll pin one of your guys' comments, reply to you, tell you that you've won, and I'll ship you guys this box out right here. But I'd really appreciate it if you watch the video all the way through. Today we're going to be fishing a pond behind me. It's super foggy, so you're not really able to see it. But I have the old Bonafide kayak. And uh, I might walk down here to the water's edge for you guys real quick. My buddy Nick caught a uh, seven and a half pounder over here a couple years ago. And I haven't even been back ever since. But it's an old lake. It's a golf course pond, so that automatically makes it be better. Um, and I kind of have special permission to fish out here. So there's the old spillway. And like I said, it's super foggy. The golf course is right there. You'll probably see that on the GoPro view. But without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and switch you guys over to the GoPro view. Hopefully catch some big bass in this video. I'm going to be using some baits I got out of my mystery tackle box. And some baits I ordered from shopcarls.com. Got a brand new fire crawl chatter bait. I got some little Ned rigs that I ordered. We'll see you guys out in the water in just a second. All right, we're at the edge of the pond. About to slide the kayak in now. Give it a little push. Pretty excited guys. Have a pretty high potential of catching a giant. Getting the paddle out. Alright, so the first bait of choice today is the Z-Man Jackhammer Fire Crawl with the red big bite baits kamikaze on the back. That one. Not a monster, but hey, it's fish. First fish of the day. Looks like it's uh, got something wrong with it. I don't know if that's an infection. So yeah, first one of the day. Got some kind of infection or something going on with it. Kind of scared to touch it. Not sure what happened to it, but we're gonna get a release on this bad boy. And, uh, you know, we've been here for about 15 minutes, so hopefully we can figure out a little bit better of a bite than what we're on. But I'm thinking the closer I get to this creek back here, the more fish we're going to catch. So let's get back to it. There's a fish. All right. I always love these winter colors of these fish because you can always see their splotches like super well. Not a big one. Third fish of the day. It also has a mark on him. All these fish on here kind of beat up. So. mess that one up. I'm gonna try try to be stealthy and get a cast in front of this tree. Right here. <clears throat> Got all these limbs laying down. <coughs> Should be a good spot for a bass. Got one. Not a bad one, not a bad one. Go. Best one of the day. Best one of the day. Right up in there where he should have been. All right. Just because I don't want to paddle and steer anymore, I'm going to keep casting. All right, I'm going to give the old tree one last try. And I got the old deadly Nedley on, so. Figure if there's any small ones out there, 
I can get them to munch on it. Or just finicky ones. They don't necessarily have to be small. They're just non-aggressive. Let me stop this boat. Had that one just sitting on the bottom. All right, there's one of those finicky ones, deadly nedly. Mm. I'd like to keep that one on, but I wanted to try these rage crawls. I ordered off. Uh, that's a rage bug. I ordered off Carl's Bait and Tackle. Some good scent. That's old classic Strike King coffee smell to them. I'm thinking these ought to do pretty good. I think it's like the Bama Bug color too. So let's get those appendages flapping. Turn the boat. I'm kind of running out of time. I have to leave here in like 10 minutes. So I guarantee you, Ned Rig, I probably could have like really upped my numbers. There was a fish right in here earlier. Maybe he's still there. Oh, that was a fish. He could have felt that uh, pin or something. Coming this way. There we go. Fish number two out of there on the net rig. <laughs> Can't beat it. Another winter bass coloration. All right. And there was one last place I had a bite earlier on the chatterbait. I didn't land them, and it was right there. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Not a bad fish. Deadly Nedley strikes. There we go. All right, this may be the last fish I catch today. Not a bad one though on the old Deadly Nedley. Pretty good fish, come out from those bushes exactly where he was supposed to. Put him back right here. So I think I caught six fish off this one tree today, guys. And uh, that's kind of how they'll do winter time, boy, they'll just stack up. Especially in these ponds, like this is like the only structure out here. So they just piled up in it. Oh, there was a little one. All right, make that seven fish I caught out from under this tree today. They are piled up in it. So, guarantee I'll come back one day and there'll be a giant in here. Maybe not today, but one day there will be. All right, so we're going to zip to, to the other side of the lake. There's one stump I'll throw beside, and if not, I'll see you guys at the truck. If I don't catch a fish by it, I'll see you guys at the truck. All righty, everybody, that is a wrap right there. We are in a rush. I have to be home in like seven minutes, and I already know I'm not going to make it. It's going to take longer than that just to load the kayak and everything up. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and load this kayak up. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know. I'm going to be coming back out of this pond, hopefully in the spring, maybe be getting on a monster. So the chatterbait and the Ned rig are still working this winter. Luckily, it warmed up enough today to actually kind of take my jacket off just a little bit. It's a little bit cold, but hey, I'll take it. But until the next episode, we'll see you guys on the next. Until next time, guys. Peace.